Well, hello. I am here at the Festival of Faith Marketplace, and I am joined by David Moore, the festival coordinator, and Carla Leon with the Edge Network. Both have been instrumental in bringing about this Festival of Faith, with which, in which we have participated today and will continue tomorrow. So David, I'm wondering, can you talk a bit about how the Festival of Faith came to be? With the changes going on in the church right now, we're kind of at loose ends, I think. And uh, the, the query went out, how can we make things come alive a little bit? And the last uh, moderator, Gary Patterson, had been over in uh, England for the Greenbelt Festival. And he thought, you know, that's maybe the kind of thing we ought to do here. Now, I've not been to Greenbelt, but uh, I signed up to say, okay, I'll, I'll try and do a festival of faith. What would that be? And I thought, you know, let's just try turning the, the church inside out. Let's uh, get what we do inside and put it out there for the world and see what, uh, what happens, how people respond. So what kinds of things have happened today so far in the festival? Oh, we've ha just finished an amazing concert with uh, Jana Mark, one of our musicians. She came all the way from Copenhagen, Denmark. And, of course, we've had the uh, things going on here in the Artisan's Market. We've had the workshops, and they have been lively. I've walked through a couple of them, and people were literally bouncing up and down with excitement. It was, it was incredible. Um, people have been seeing that the spirit is alive in this place. So it's, yeah, it's been fantastic. Awesome, we'll look forward to it continuing oh, yeah. tomorrow as well. So Carla, you and some of the EDGE team were part of putting the pieces together to bring this festival to life, working alongside David. Can you talk a bit about what that experience was like for you and, and what it means to put a festival on? Um, it was a lot. <laughs> Let's start there. <laughs> um, but I think that what was so fun is that um, we were allowed to uh, let our imagination soar and really listen to what was new and emerging and then reach out to people and just the peop how much people wanted to be part of this. Um, I mean, we had over 50 artisans tables here with the marketplace today. Um, people were clamoring to be part, to be workshop leaders and sharing the good news. Um, we had about 50 volunteers just for the festival alone. So it's just been wonderful. That's amazing. Yeah. And and people who maybe weren't even able to be here in person wanting to share the stories about the things that they have going on in their church oh, too. Yeah. So um, that's been a really neat thing to, sh to showcase some of what's happening in the church beyond this week of General Council. Yes, it's, uh, I mean, the gallery with Embracing the Spirit Gallery, we had over 50 stories being told and they're beautiful and they, you should go if you're here. Um, but I think just the, the spirit and the life and how much everyone wanted to be part of this, it's a great way to start General Council 43. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So, David, what's something that's been surprising or life-giving as in your role as festival coordinator? Okay, talk about tear to the eye. Oh, um, Yana was talking about uh, the invitation to come and perform here. And uh, her... Uh, uncle moved to Canada 50 years ago and she had not seen her Canadian relatives in over 30 years and so when the invitation went to her that she could come to Canada she called up her aunt her uncle has passed away since and her aunt just said yeah come and stay with us so there she is reconnecting with uh, cousins and uh, aunt uh, that she hadn't seen in 30 years and them getting to meet her children for the first time. It's just one of those really life-affirming kind of things that you don't expect. And there it was, and just everybody was just so moved by that story. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Carla? Um, I think similar. I, I mean, number one, just being in the marketplace today and writing to people that I haven't seen for a long time, or sometimes not even at all. I've just been going back and forth with emails or phone calls over years and never getting to meet them, so that's been lovely. And I think the other thing is that there are people here today who've never stepped foot in a church. That was really lovely. And for them to say, wait a minute, this is church? Yes, it is. It's a pretty important part of reimagining what church looks like and especially as we move into general council as we 
make some really important decisions and move forward with what the future of the church looks like. What an amazing way to start that off. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the way to go. Yeah, it's the way to go. Well, thank you both so much for all that you've done to bring this to life. And we'll look forward to the festival continuing tomorrow throughout the day. There is the teddy bear or the stuffed animal hugging <laughs> world record in the afternoon right after worship. Uh, and lots more tomorrow. And then tonight we have two amazing concerts still yeah, lined up. Martin Joseph uh, coming up pretty soon in about half an hour. Yeah, yeah. And uh, those of us, I was part of the Greenbelt pilgrimage that you mentioned. Uh, we were introduced to Martin there and so excited that he's here. And then Professors of Funk tonight. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be an awesome uh, dance party on the patio tonight. Yeah, that uh, it's yeah, great concerts and great concerts tomorrow. Uh, Even Song is going to start things off at 1.30 and then we have Turpin's Trail at 4 and they are a high energy Celtic band. Like, wow. So it's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you to bo you both and we'll see you all on the dance floor. Take care. All right.